How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Take that for a moment. That is, in my opinion, one of the most abused and overused responses to this common question. Am I right? <laughs> think about it for a moment. How many times do you think you've answered good to this question? We don't realize the great meaning behind it, yet we use it so often. I want to tell you about one of the biggest experiences of my life. I woke up one morning, like every day, to go to school, feeling tired. Tired from homework, tired from busyness, but most of all, I was tired from my dad being sick. He had an extremely rare liver disease, and I didn't even realize how serious the condition was. Gosh. I was just a 15-year-old girl. What else was I supposed to expect? There were so many questions running through my mind. Why me? Why my life? Why couldn't he just hurry up and get better so I could see him come home? That was my biggest question. The sickness wasn't only hurting him, but it was hurting me. It was hurting my family. I just felt so numb and bitter all the time. I'd gotten a call that same, that same morning that I had to go straight to the hospital and skip school. Whatever. This was my new normal at the time. I just felt so upset. I wanted all of this suffering to end. I remember running up the stairs to the hospital, and I kept thinking of hope. Hold on. Pain ends. A quote I saw on Pinterest. I was honestly so set on my dad getting better, the possibility of him leaving me just wasn't an option. I'd always been taught that there were happy endings. Gathered around, I saw through the glass doors and windows, my entire family. At that moment in time, I knew it was his time. That was a moment in my life that I wanted to be wrong. I remember the monitors beeping and slowly getting slower as his heart rate decreased. I was holding his hands in his very last moment, and I didn't even realize how unreal it felt. It hurt to just sit there, knowing that there was nothing, nothing I could do. Do you realize how hard that was for me? Everyone was crying. It wasn't until a while later I was ordering some food at a restaurant, and a waitress, a complete stranger, asked me, how are you? How are you? It wasn't until that very moment in time that I knew I felt completely sad. Good, I said. As I smiled, I smiled. I completely covered up my true emotions, my true self. I just felt so done and so alone, even though I knew my family and my closest friends were there for me. You probably think by now, what's the point of this? Where's the happy ending? Well, I believe that my happy ending is still yet to come. I'm still on an ongoing journey, just like every one of you. We're all on an ongoing journey of being human. So far, I've learned what it means to truly be strong and to keep going. Also, to never lose hope. 
even if it seems like the only answer is to fail. You know, I think the biggest point that I think has come out of all of this is I've learned what it truly means to be thankful. I don't think people realize how much they should be thankful for. It's not just at Christmas time or Thanksgiving Day to think about your blessings. It's about keeping these ideas in mind all the time and recognizing them whenever you experience anything in your life. It takes so little to lose something that means so much to you. So it's important that we appreciate all the things we have. Life is full of give and take. Give thanks and take nothing for granted. No matter what life throws at you, it's about how you handle it. It's about taking the opportunity to figure out who you are, more about you, and what more you are capable of. So next time you ask me, how are you? I won't answer good. I'll answer, I'm grateful. Because what matters to me is making the most of what you have and being thankful for it. Thank you. <laughs>